This is a uh, update of the previous uh, previous video, the speculations on the ether, and uh, I think this is a simple explanation that I came up with on how to explain the ether instead of just um, guessing at what it is. But it goes like this: the that the ether is uh, electromagnetic radiation from everything that is everything uh, like this hot cup of tea gives off electromagnetic radiation to infinity but it's so minute that it's usually not worth considering uh, but here's the thing um, everything gives off this radiation and That means in empty space, you're going to have this electromagnetic radiation. But what is this stuff? It's basically waves of highs and lows, positives and negatives, um, intersecting and converging and adding and minusing whatever, um, interfering. But anyway, I mean, it's essentially positives and negatives. Um, but here's here's the thing. Here's the the basic idea behind it. That's I think pretty easy to get is that electromagnetic radiation is is just like when we um, uh, levitate a frog in a strong magnetic field. That is. In a really strong field, we can see this stuff actually exert a force. Uh, when it's very strong and becomes very apparent, but when it's super weak, it's not so apparent. You know, how do we? How can we prove something like this? That there's ether in empty space, and it's made of positives and negatives, and and it has this resistance to um, objects moving through it. Well, it's, the evidence is already there. It's just in the way we interpret what we observe. That's the, that's the, where it is. It's um, inertial gravity, or pseudo gravity, is what it is. It's the a resistance to a change in motion of an object is caused by the ether. This. EM radiation in empty space. Um, so, when something tries to move really fast through the ether, it's moving, in essence, it's trying to move really fast through strong, like strong magnetic fields, or um, at very high speeds, it's moving through lots and lots of electromagnetic radiation very quickly. That's going to create a lot of resistance. So that's essentially the idea um, of ether theory. What that means is that gravity, there's two forms. There's the, the, uh, the other video I talk about the Earth's gravity um, being uh, the byproduct of electrostatics. And then there's the pseudo form, the inertial gravity, like when you're driving a car and you turn a sharp corner you get pushed to the other side or you accelerate very fast in the car and you get pushed back that is inertial gravity and, and that is is what is just uh, it's just like moving through a sea of uh, this electromagnetic radiation and that's a, that's as simple as I could get it as an explanation as I could think of and uh, I think that that's pretty pretty important for people who are trying to understand it. Um, but the uh, the typical the typical explanations for for physics these days are incredibly complicated and. Um, difficult for anybody to argue with, you know, um, 
maybe that's why they're so complicated. 